Hello everyone, it's your girl Joy, your passionate gold miner. Welcome to another episode of Living. And in a few moments, I'm going to be talking to Rosalind. Now, I always enjoy talking to Rosalind. So earlier this year on our March episode, I said that um, we are experiencing something new and it's going to take faith to get through it. And I ask you, how do you embrace chaos? Do you maintain your faith? Do you have a good sense of humor? Do you have a good sense of perspective when um, things are not going the way that you imagined? And are you accepting the things that are going differently and over the last few months, your responses have been pretty much the same. We're all going through a difficult time, and we know that 2020 has been a tough year. But with everything that we're going through, what are you thankful for? Well, let's talk about it. I hope you enjoy my conversation with Rosalind. Hello, Rosalind. <laughs> Hi there, Joy. It's so nice to see you again, looking good. You are too. Well, you got a little you. snazzy, and I guess I didn't get the memo, girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I am ready for the holidays. Just so happy. <laughs> so I decided That's to good. put up yeah. some Christmas decorations and just get in the spirit. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So, Rosalind, what's been going on since we last talked? So, I have been trying to go through pictures, and um, for some reason, before Thanksgiving, they've already started the Christmas movies on Hallmark, so I've kind of gotten caught into watching the Hallmark movies and stuff, so <laughs> that's actually been fun, so it's trying to get me in the mood, so um, I started picking up just little decorations and stuff, so pretty soon I'll be decorating the house. <laughs> so I'm just so happy to talk to you today. Now, Rosalind was our very too. first guest and our very first ho host on our first three episodes of Living. You did uh, Write the Vision. That was because of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking to you. After, right after we did our vision boards, we did uh, Write the Vision. Do you still have your vision board post? Right. I do. Um, I have it in in my extra room and uh, I do periodically look at it and um, some things I did do between you know then other things like the travel things happen so I can't travel right now <laughs> but you know I will be doing some of those things so yeah I do have my vision board yeah that is awesome is you can kind of use that same board when we have our vision board party on January 9th and then you can either transfer some of those things like to travel to your new board, or you can just um, rebuild the board you already have. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I've been using um, some pages to write some extra things to kind of further explain some of the stuff on my um, board to kind of work towards some of that stuff. Um, so the exercise part, I've been walking regularly, so that's good. The food thing hasn't worked too well. I've still got to work on that. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we all fell in that boat. <laughs> oh, man. I, know, I, know. <laughs> I have good yeah. friends that motivate me. Oh, yeah. awesome. So I gotta I, I need to have you motivating me too because you're a motivator. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're getting back on it. So um how will you be celebrating yes. Thanksgiving this year? Um this year because of COVID, it's just gonna be me and my husband at home and we just make a nice little dinner and watch the games and just kind of chill out at home. Here, we're going to celebrate a little early because my son-in-law, he has to work. What yeah. are you cooking this year? Um, um, small, but doing like turkey breasts and green beans and um, stuffing. 
probably some yams. Um, and um, I'm thinking about doing some Brussels sprouts too. And, but I have a, but I have an air fryer. So I'm trying to think about if I'm going to do it in the air fryer and try that. <laughs> I don't know. It's an experiment. I don't think I should experiment on Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll just do it in the oven. I've done it in the oven before. I was just about to ask so, you, have yeah. you done it in the air fryer yet? <laughs> I was thinking that would be a good thing is you season them up good and you put them in the, in the oven on the, on a cookie tray, tray, uh, sheet. I'm sure that you could put them in the air fryer and it would, should be crisper, I would think. But um, I might experiment this week before Thanksgiving and see if it works. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> go on, um, maybe go on Pinterest and see if anybody's done that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to see. I was going to say you could leave me a plate outside. Girl, <laughs> I know you cook better than I do. I already know that. <laughs> now, the funny mm -hmm. thing is I'm not with the standard Thanksgiving dinner. But we're still doing it. I I would prefer to have a salad, but <laughs> my family's not going. Oh, that's, yeah. you know that's not going to go over very well, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going for it. Because so. this is Thanksgiving. This is not just every day, Miss Joy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we did gumbo last year so we'll Ooh. do that maybe every other year sometimes we'll do it for uh new year's day oh yeah or christmas or thanksgiving mm -hmm. uh, yeah our family we used to do it christmas eve mm -hmm. yeah so i always kind of go in the you know lose weight mode around this time of the year so <laughs> So I'm, I'm not feeling all this food. That is so different than most people. <laughs> most people are gaining weight around this time of year. <laughs> I'm trying to lose a pound of food. Oh, my God. With this, I'm telling you, with this quarantine, oh, my goodness. I know. I'm going to get myself together. <laughs> I'm finding that I, I like to eat too many snacks. That's the problem. Yeah. The snacks and the, and, we the, are. and the sweets. I don't know what that is. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah. I, well, you're not alone. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, speaking on that note, what kinds of things bring you joy? I think you just said some sweets. <laughs> what other things bring you joy? <laughs> okay, that brings me, that should not be bringing me joy. That's <laughs> really it does it. But girl, if you give me some chocolate or, you know, there's a lady by the name of Terry who does, the best cakes and her her caramel cake brings me joy it does <laughs> so i have to tell you about that it does but you know for me what brings me real joy is you know my family and friends and you know me there's people that know me and they call me giggles or chuckles because i like to laugh and so you just you know being around people and they make you laugh that's that does bring me joy and just seeing people happy you know that does makes me very happy and it brings me a lot of joy me too mm -hmm. um my family brings me joy my you know my children mm -hmm. are so busy lately so we don't get to get together as much as i would like to so i enjoy our get togethers you know playing games talking i know i think yeah it's really 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 good um i also love as you know, inspiring and encouraging others. Definitely. I love um, to read. I love to exercise mm -hmm. and I love painting, as you know. And I love going outside to see nature. Right. Yeah. And um, same as you. Right. I like right. to watch the Hallmark movies, those Christmas movies. <laughs> I know. I mean, even though they're kind of sappy and you know kind of how it's going to end, you know it's going to end nice. So, you know, you know you're going to have a happy ending. It's just like a nice escapism from the real world right now. You know what I mean? I love them. I do too. <laughs> um, during our Sister Talks episode, you talked about calming your mind and focusing more on breathing and improving your health. Um, can you tell us a little bit about mindful meditation and how is that helping you and what can we learn about that exercise? Okay. Um, 
I'm going to give you just a little history of why I started doing it okay. and then a little information about it. Okay. So um, probably in the last few years, there's just been a lot of trauma and stuff that has happened in the family. And so um, I was having periods of just feeling stressed and a little anxiety. And so one of my cousins on my husband's side, she was going through some something similar. And so she said, have you ever considered doing meditation? So she introduced me to the University of California, San Francisco, their Osh, Osher um, Center. And so I went online and I just typed in UC um, SF uh, meditation. And then their page will come up and you click on what you want to look at. And it just goes through and what it's doing is is actually just trying to calm you down through breathing. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things is I usually pick the one on um, reducing stress. And so the breathing, basically, um, there's another person that I, I also watch online by YouTube is Jay Shetty. And he has a meditation one that you can pull up too. And it's basically telling you to just find a place where you can sit and be comfortable. And he plays both of them play really calm music. If you ever had a, a um, what do you call it, a uh, massage, and they play all that calm, really nice music yeah. in the background, yes. and it just calms you down, that's what they're playing in the background. Or they're playing like rain or water running or, you know, yeah. and just telling you to just take a deep breath and just think about calm and, and you know, that type of thing. And so in doing this, in Actually, when you're stressed out or you're having anxiety, sometimes what will happen is you're not actually getting enough breath in. So the exercises are teaching you to take that deep breath through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. And it's just getting the oxygen that you need because when we're tense, we're not, we're sometimes breathing shallow. So yeah. during meditation, it's teaching you to be mindful about your body, about your breathing about calming down, centering, and, and when we're stressed, sometimes we'll have headaches or tense, you know, tenseness in our shoulders or whatever. And it's telling you to focus on those things and calm, you know, just calm yourself down. So what I'm finding by doing it, and I'm not doing it every day, but when I do do it, um, I just feel more centered. I feel less stress, you know, and um, there's a, a feeling like when you're stressed out, sometimes it feels like your mind is all over the place. Yes. This kind of centers you and helps your focus. So I found it really helpful. And so one of the simple breathing tests, they have um, they, uh, things that they just start out with is like breathing in for four and like holding for four and then exhale for four or more. And when you do that, you just feel like when you exhale, you're letting out some of that tension. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels good. It really does. And sometimes they do the mindfulness where they take you away and you like water like I do. We could pretend yep. we're at the ocean, whatever's calm for you or, you know, by a lake or out in the, out in the you know, uh, nature or whatever. And you're just taking in the sights and sounds. Your eyes are closed, but you're taking in the sights and sounds of yeah. places that bring you calmness and joy. And it does that. So it's really nice. I do like it. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Mindfulness improves anxiety, depression. And they said it even lowers your blood pressure and it helps boost your immune system. It does. It does. Oh, yeah. Good. It's it there's so many things. I mean, I found one website that had like 12 different things that, you know, mindfulness and meditation can do. And one of the reasons I was doing it is because of stress and anxiety and my blood pressure. Exactly. And, um, and if you can just calm yourself down, because sometimes people say when you're stressed, stress will cause your blood pressure to go up. Yeah. So if you could just calm down, it does help. Mm -hmm. We've been having a lot of worry, uh, fear. Of unknown. We don't know when it's going to get better. Yeah. And that's true. But you know what? God knows. And I do believe, honestly, you know, at first when this was starting, I think you and I have talked previously because we've had times when we, you know, just chat and stuff. But this actually did worry me and it was making me anxious. But then someone said, if we have this time during the quarantine and we haven't had an opportunity to really reset 
and really get to know ourselves and improve, we've wasted that time. Mm -hmm. This is a time for stillness for us to really learn a little bit more about ourselves, about God. It's about, this is a good time for growth, you yep. know, for us to just be still and learn about ourselves. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the things I posted today. I was just like, wow, this has been an intense oh. year of, for growth. Yeah. I've learned a lot. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I found myself the first few months of this, you know, March to about June, mm -hmm. is, uh, being still and just, you know, reading my Bible more and just, um, just trying to uh, understand what's going on, you know, and just praying a lot. Right. And, um, you know, one of the biggest things mm -hmm. that we don't probably realize we should do is repent. You know, this is a, a, a excellent time. And that's true. You know? Yeah. Cause we, we don't, yeah, know. it yeah. is true. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. Mm hmm. So it, and it's an excellent time. And I think, you know, the, I can't think of the, the verse in the Bible is talking about, you know, repenting and, and yeah, turning like, away from your, and I'm not saying everybody's the evil ways, but, you know, and looking to God and yeah. that, you know, he will deliver us, you know? So, you know, you look at the times like the, um, the Israelites went through all that stuff that they were going through. It is in the midst of the, the time, like the pandemic now, it's not the time to worry, but to, to press into God and to search our soul of trying to find how to be a better person and what he wants us to be. And it, exactly what you were saying. That's really great. Yes. Yes. Repent, return from mm -hmm. your evil ways and he will heal mm -hmm. our plan. Yes. It's really, really. He will heal our land. Amen. That's the one I was trying to think of. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. And so, yeah, thank you for sharing your mindfulness and, and your different practices that you've been doing. Another one, too, is appreciating the different seasons. And so that's one for me, too. I right. love after winter comes spring. Mm -hmm. And then I love the smell of fresh flowers and then going outside mm, yeah walking again mm -hmm. and hearing the birds chirping i just love nature hello i'm robin padilla pro director with damsel in defense sharing safety tips and tools for eight years our mission is to equip empower and educate having lived through and overcome trauma my passion is to help others be safe. Because our lives are not always free of harm, Damsel in Defense offers protective tools for all ages, such as stun devices, pepper sprays, emergency tools for home and for the car and on the go, as well as our educational material for our children and much more. I offer fun and informative safety presentations in your home, at work, in a group, and even on Zoom. I would love the opportunity to share safety tips and situation awareness with you, your friends, coworkers, and then help you decide which tools fit your lifestyle. Our company is driven by our mission to protect others and keeping them safe. Your support helps us to contribute to nonprofits that help those that have been affected by assault, abuse, and trafficking. I believe everyone should be prepared and protected for the unexpected because you're worth it. Please reach out if you are interested in purchasing, hosting, or joining at defendableme.com. So Rosalind, what are you thankful for? You know, I am so thankful, you know, for dear friends and family. Um, I'm thankful for you know, living in a place where I can worship, even though we can't go into the churches. Mm -hmm. The amazing thing is I haven't been able on some Sundays visit three churches, you know what I mean, online. So I've been really thankful for that and just really enjoyed um, hearing different people sing and, um, and minister to us. Um, and then I've enjoyed 
just quality time, even though I can't be with my nieces and stuff, is us spending a lot more quality time on the phone and just really, you know, having that quality time and bonding. So I've, I'm really thankful for all of that. Yeah. My family, my friends, and worship. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that about being able to tune in to different worship um, and Sunday services, everyone's um, different uh, ministries and, and, and what they're talking about. And so that's right. Yeah. It's been really good. I'm first and foremost thankful that this year is almost over. <laughs> Woohoo! Please come 2021. <laughs> Hallelujah. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Deeply right. thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. And I'm, I'm thankful for you. I'm just thankful that I'm mm -hmm. still here. I'm able to continue uh, to reach my goals. And I'm just happy that my yeah. family and my friends are doing well. I'm really thankful that I can talk to my family back home. I am too. And I am thankful for you. You have, um, what would you call it? You have um, engaged me outside of my comfort zone and trying something new. And I'm really thankful for that. And it's been fun. Um, and I do appreciate your friendship. I tell you, we always have fun and always learning something new in the process. Um, you all right by me, girl. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want your life to look like after this year is over? And uh, what do you think is preventing you from getting there? That is a really a good question. Wow. Um, that is really something. You know, and I thought about that just now that you've said it. I go, hmm. <laughs> um, I think that this period of time I think for for me as a woman a lot of times we've been taught to be people pleasers and to try to do things for other people and I think this quiet time I'm not calling it really quiet time but you know this time of just being home is learning to find out who you are and authentically step into who you are mm -hmm. because you can't honestly do what God wants you to do until you're authentically who you are. And I think that's what I want in this time of being still is to learn that. So then I can walk in to my purpose of what I'm really supposed to do in this time right now, you know, cause what I was doing before is different. Now that I'm retired, it's finding that purpose of what I'm supposed to be doing in this chapter right now, but I have to authentically just be myself, you know, yeah. and walk in that. And so I'm hoping in 2000, 21, I'm going to see <clears throat> some of that come forward, you know, of being able to make those steps to really walk in what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, um, volunteering, spending more quality time with family and friends. Because if people, if you love people, you have to show them that you love them. Ooh. And if even right now, if we can't be with them, at least we can keep in touch with them, you know? Yeah. So I just want to not say it as much, but do it. Oh, there you go. I, I posted something about that today too, about action. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people right. say stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. We don't, yeah, we don't follow through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might have to start reading more stuff on your page. I thought I, I saw what you said the last time, but I'm going, I must have missed something on, on Joyce's page. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's um, for me. Um, oh my goodness! I know I will be more grateful after this year. Mm. Um, like I said earlier, this has been a year of intense growth. Uh, I will not take being healthy and having great friends for granted. You know, life. Ooh, is amen. So yeah, mm -hmm. life is short. I'm going to be more intentional every day. Um, living every moment, enjoying every moment, and acknowledging what is happening. Kind of like you were talking about the mindfulness. Um, 
Right. Yeah. Is what's preventing you from getting there. One of the things that I say it, that prevents us is ourself. We are our right. own worst enemy. Okay. And right. so we let things build up and weigh us down. And we know that 2020 has been tough and it's hard because um, we don't know when it's going to be over, you know, but one thing I know is that we have to focus on what we are grateful for. And um, we have to accept what we can't control. And so we have to pray and just give it to God. And I say, uh, control what you can, you know, that's, that's what we can do. Right. I think some of what keeps me from that, I know for this year is all the stuff that is going on with, you know, the virus and the, the chaos and our divisiveness in our country and, you know, the social injustice, it became heavy. And it's like you weigh, you weighed down and, and it, it kind of, it kind of made me stop for a second and not keep moving forward. Right. But I, and another thing is sometimes not having confidence in the ability, you know, it, you have to remember if God brought you to it, he'll see you through it. And so sometimes it is not in our own, um, cause a lot of times I'll say that's not my skill set. but if God brought me to it, he's going to give, he's going to enable me to do it. So I think I'm going to have to get beyond what my limitations, I think they are, you know? And so that's, I did not answer that part of your question. So yeah, I think sometimes my limitations are my low expectations of what I think I can do. Oh yeah. And I have to remember if, if, if it's brought to me, I need to feel like he's going to, he's going to give me what I need to be able to do it. Yes. Yes. So with that said, how do you intend to be purposeful moving forward in 2021? Actually is the things that, for instance, I had on my vision board mm -hmm. and some new things in this time where you're still and I'm finding that I hadn't authentically been myself. Some of those things on my vision board may change mm -hmm. and then I need to move and start making steps to move forward on those things that I want to do. So it's kind of like, what is your intention is on your vision board, but then what are your steps to get toward that? So it's, you know, there were things like we were talking about exercise and, you know, different things about writing. I need to start working toward that, you know? So, yeah. You know, I want to mm. make a difference in someone's life. Um, you know, you have to ask yourself, why am I here? You know, we've all Ooh, tried that's to, good. Yeah, <laughs> tried to answer what is my purpose? And I want to make a difference, make an impact while I still have time in 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I like to say is uh, uh, Philippians 3 and 14, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And I press on toward the mark to the prize of the high call Ooh. of God of Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Amen. True. And that's what we're supposed to do. That's true. That's great. Yeah. 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 Another thing is to try to miss joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I want to try to maintain balance. It's not easy. It's not easy. But that's why right. we're talking about it. You know, we, we're talking. I want to be productive. You know, I want mm -hmm. to uh, make sure I'm doing things that I'm passionate about. You know, I tell others to do Hi. the same. I, yeah. I want to, I plan to have fun, but, but I want to be inspirational and lift up others. I want to continue growing and learning right. and moving forward. And you are, but you know, I know you have other things that are on your, um, you know, plans to move forward to even impact more people. And so that's great. Yeah. Are you still writing your um, daily affirmations, Rosalind? You know, what I do is I add to my affirmations and then I read them. So I have like, I have a journal that has 
I don't know, pages of affirmations and I go back and read them. But I had thought about um, on my um, calendar that, that I bought from you is adding each day um, a grateful, you know, what I'm grateful for that day. Um, yeah. And then an affirmation, like one thing or two things that is in the present to move me forward, you know, like, um, you know, I'm, I'm God's child or, you know, there are different types of affirmations that I have. And then you're just reminding yourself of things that you want to move forward to. Like, I need to tell myself I'm a writer and I'm going to write this stuff or, you know, I'm going to impact my, um, younger, you know, nieces and nephews to yeah. move forward in, you know, just connectivity of family and, and giving back to the community, you know, that's the things my mom did. Um, you know, I think in the past you and I had talked about as much as given as much as expected and to go and be able to impact the world just one person at a time. It doesn't even have to be like huge. If you just touch one person. Yeah. Keep writing those. I am affirmations and reading them going over mm -hmm. I do the same you know I'm right I am successful right. I am enough I am blessed I mm -hmm. am resilient I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me Christ oh. who strengthens me <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> amen mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! I just love talking That's to you. That's good. That is good. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy talking to you too. You know you that. Know, funny, <laughs> when, we, when we started, Rosalind, we wasn't on Zoom. People couldn't see us. They just saw a picture of us. Remember that back in January? Yeah, you're I know you're pushing me beyond my um my technological <laughs> abilities, but you know what? I gotta move forward in the two thousands. Okay, girl, you can't stay back in the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> So this is good that we're doing it this way. <laughs> do you remember, Rosalind, do you remember, though, yes, I in do. January when we started this, I said, let's wait and see where we end up at the end of the year. I know. I, I never thought we were going to be on right. school. <laughs> I know. Go figure. And you know what? Hey, no telling what else we'll be doing. <laughs> yeah, next year. We don't know. I know. Um yeah, we right. had those little pictures of you and I, our little cute faces, and mm -hmm. we on the phone. <laughs> I'll post. <laughs> oh, man. I know. It was just a still picture and us talking on the phone. That's true. And look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I never thought we'd be on this Zoom, though. I really didn't. I thought no, they might move I forward know. to uh, to coffee, like Sister Talks. Now, Sister Talks, we're supposed to be meeting up for coffee and actually in the same room. Together. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. We did talk about that, but COVID kind of messed that up. I know. <laughs> yeah. so. so we're in our little squares. That on... would be fun, too. Yep. Yep. I can't wait until we can do that. <laughs> But that it's would okay. be fun. That it's would be okay. Fun. I just enjoy seeing your face. <laughs> I do too. I do too. Yeah. Do you have anything else that you would like to add as we wrap up? Well, I just want to thank you for giving um, me and the other ladies an opportunity to just share our heart and to hear from you. Um, I think that you are touching people because this is your passion. And um, also, I want to tell the ladies just to find something to be thankful for. We're coming upon Thanksgiving. And um, while we're in a very trying time right now, is to look for the good. And if you look for the good, you'll find the good. That's what my mom used to say. So just be thankful and look for the good. Yes. I really appreciate so. you coming on this episode and talking about what you're thankful for. You know, I just pray that we have peace in the new year um, and prosperity yes. through the year. You know, I pray that we find a, a treatment and or a cure for the virus. And um, 
You know, we live right. in a world of uncertainty, doubt, and change. So uh, we just kind of have to think about where we're going, yeah, being in the moment, being intentional. And, you know, I just pray that we continue to chase our dreams and that uh, we have a joyful holiday season and just keep right. taking it one day at a time. Uh, I'm praying that God give us peace and comfort um, as we move forward into 2021. And I'm just so thankful great. and I'm so grateful um, right now in this moment. I'm just learning. That's another thing I just learned to just be in the moment and enjoy it because life is so short. It is. It is. And we just, we never know, you know, when, if, when we, if we're going to take our next breath, but the positive thing is if you woke up, God still has something for you to do. So we woke up this morning. Come we on. have something to do. Come on, preach sis. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I'm learning from you girl. Well, watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love on oh, sister talks when you said I, I was talking about getting off track and you go and if you do get off track get your butt back up I can just listen to that know, get back on track in there. <laughs> you say get your butt back up <laughs> hey, we all do it we all do it <laughs> we all do it you know i think we have so much fun talking we were going one direction and pretty soon we are on another conversation totally off track of where we were going but that's just because we were having a good time <laughs> we're having a good time yeah we talked about that too in sister talks when um i was saying um what's the worst can happen when i'm speaking and i was talking about stuttering and then you said or you can lose what you was about to say <laughs> i know I know, because that has always been my fear when I used to train. I go, please do not let me forget what I was supposed to say to these people. And, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what though? I found I found that a lot of people was rooting for us, even though we were just so into our feelings and so fearful. You know, to just go ahead and I know. Do yeah, people was just sitting there rooting for us anyway. I That's what gave me the courage. You know, when I worked, uh, one of my supervisors said that one time. We were in a meeting and everything, and I was like, what? You want me to host the next meeting, you know, or whatever? And then she talked to me afterwards, and she goes, people are rooting for you. You know, you don't think oh, about that's so it. nice. Oh, yeah. She goes, people are rooting for you. And it's kind of like when you're in church, you know, and you get up and you speak and they just be clapping or it's going, go ahead. You know, and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> yeah. And even if you're speaking and you have an emotional part in church, they'd be going, it's all right, baby. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. You know, <laughs> and they just kind of push you forward. You know, it's okay. <laughs> So, yeah. Yep. Yep. I find that that's what I love about like our sisterhood community. You know, um, mm -hmm. people are rooting for you. It, it, this is a safe place. You can, you can say, right, Rosalind? Right. Definitely. It yeah. is a safe place. Yeah. And I think that a lot of times people, one of the things, because you speak before people and I, when I first started training, one of the things they taught us when we were doing training and stuff, one of the, one of the main things people fear is speaking in the front of people. It really is something that scares people because you're afraid of looking a certain way or not saying the right thing. And I think we overthink it and overanalyze it too much. And yeah. sometimes you just have to say, if you enjoy talking to people just one-on-one, -on -one, you can do this too. You can do this. Join us for Sister Talk. Mm -hmm. You know, join mm -hmm. our living episode. Yeah. We love to hear from you, what you have going on. And I love promoting women's right. businesses. You know, that's another thing we do. Definitely. Um, yeah. The mm -hmm. ladies advertise their business with us because that's one of the things that I really, really love. You know, I love right. inspiring and informing and lifting up others and then helping other people. Um, right. 
Yeah, and inspiring businesses too. Maybe you're thinking about something, you know, you can come and share with us. Right, right, definitely. And there's so many women that would love for other people to support them in the midst of their business or um, they may have a word for us, you know, to be able to help push us forward in what we're doing. There's glory in your story. Yes. You, I love it. When Ooh, that's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> that needs a hashtag or something. That's good. Yes. Or as Oprah awesome. says, that's a tweetable moment, but I don't think so, you know. <laughs> that's something to put on Facebook because I'm not on Twitter or Instagram, but I will put it on Facebook. There you go. Yeah. So if you're not in our, uh, there you go. <laughs> you know, ladies, if you're not in our group, it's Equipped to Soar. Join us in our group. We have a lot of fun. Okay. Yes. Love you. Love you. Have a blessed rest of the day, a blessed rest of the week, and uh, can't wait to talk to you again. Same here. Have a beautiful, thankful, and blessed Thanksgiving with your family. You too. <laughs>